Good afternoon, groovy citizens, and happy, satisfying Saturday to each and every one of you. Listen, I hope you all are having a phenomenal day. My day has been great. Even though the weather here in the DMV has been kind of weird, it started out, it was a light rain. I got off the Beltway. It wasn't raining at all. I got down Central Avenue. It was pouring down raining. And the wind is starting to pick up just a little bit. So I said, you know what? Let me run outside and get this video done because I know they are calling for some weather issues from, I wanna say now until about midnight or something. Right now it's 74 degrees. So weather-wise it feels nice, but it's windy. And I'm just glad the rain has stopped. So I don't know where you live, but hopefully the weather is great. Let's jump on into today's topic. First of all, whoa, 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 whoa. Before I do that, happy April, you guys. It is the first day of April. So we are in a new month. And this is the start of the second quarter of the year. So let me start. And I'm going to do a video probably tomorrow where we'll talk more about this. But I hope you all were able to achieve the goals that you set for yourself for the first quarter, uh, assuming that you did set goals. I, but I believe you all did. So we'll talk more about that tomorrow. And we'll talk about creating your goals for, for this quarter. So today's topic is finding yourself when you feel lost. I don't know about you, but sometimes we, we get so caught up in what we're doing that if you're not careful, you can actually lose yourself and what you're doing. And it made me think about mm, Denzel Washington. What was, I can't think of the name of the movie that he was in and he was a police officer and he ended up getting lost in his role between protecting and serving and fitting in with the natives, if you will. And so I just, that, that just came to my mind, but we have to be careful about allowing ourselves to get lost in what we do. So sometimes we get lost in our jobs, our relationships, or we may just feel lost period from time to time. Being lost doesn't mean that you'll never find yourself again. It means your life is on hold for the moment. So the key is not to get stuck and stay there. Let me put a pin right there. We all will get lost from time to time. And I know some of y'all are saying, well, not me. I've never gotten lost. Okay, well, that's great. Keep on living because eventually you will. However, it just means that you're just stuck for the moment. What happens is, is that people put a period when they're stuck instead of a comma. A period means end of sentence, that's it. A comma means there's more to come. Come on, somebody, don't make me break into a preach. A comma means there's more, to, there's more to come. So in my life, whenever I've gotten stuck, I, I dare not put a period because God says, no, I have more for you, Michelle. This is just a temporary holding period. And let me tell you what you do when that happens. That's when you say, okay, God, I'm stuck here for a moment. What is it that you want me to know? What is it that you want me to do? What is it that you want me to see? Because sometimes you, you get stuck where you are because God has something that he's trying to show you or tell you, or maybe the direction that you're heading in is not the direction that he now wants you to go in. You might be trying to go straight and God says, no, I want you to veer off to the right just a little bit. And then at a further down the road, you'll get back on course. So use that as a, a time to reflect, not to feel lost. Mm, come on, somebody. But I digress. So here are some tips that will help you out of your lost state and create a, a fulfilling life again for you. So number one, remember what you love to do and do it. I think that is so powerful. So make a commitment to do what you love and watch your life change right before your eyes. So when you remember what you love to do, I think of that person that's in a relationship and that relationship doesn't work out. Now, during the course of this relationship, you gave up the 10, 15, 20 things that you love doing to make this person happy. Well, guess what? Now you're not with this person. So I need you to remember all those things that you used to love doing before you allowed yourself to get stuck. And I want you to go back to doing those things. Maybe you love spending time with your family. Maybe you love spending time with your girlfriends or your guy friends. Maybe you loved going to the botanical gardens maybe you loved going out taking pictures because you were into photography maybe you loved going to the movies maybe you loved just hanging out 
at brunch with family and friends. Maybe you love getting together with your neighbors, playing bridge or whatever it is that you do with your neighbors. The bottom line is remembering those things that you used to love doing before you got stuck and go back to doing them. And I promise you, you'll see that your life will be so much happier. Number two, go on an adventure. So go with a group. You can go by yourself, with your spouse, your family. It doesn't matter as long as you get out there and have fun again. It can be a day trip, a weekend, a week trip. The thing is to go and have fun. You know, there are people, and y'all, let me apologize too, because I forgot to do this in the beginning. My sinuses are acting a plum fool. <laughs> And so I just took some medicine for it. I wasn't even going to do the video because when I tell you it was bad, it was bad. So I'm trying to just make it through this video so I can go and sit down somewhere and lay my head on the pillow and let my medicine work. But I digress. I was talking about going on, on an adventure. There are some people, and if you only if you can, who have gone on a year-long adventure where they took some time off for their jobs. And of course, you know, you have to have money saved up for this. And they just decided to just travel for a whole year. Because if you're not careful, you get so caught up in the day-to-day -day stuff that you lose yourself. You lose sight of, we already talked about things that made you happy. But sometimes you have to get away just to reconnect with you. Just to figure out what is it that you want to figure out what is it that you need to be doing. So that's why I said it could be a day trip, it could be a weekend trip, it could be a week long trip, it could be a month trip, or you can take the whole year, whatever works for you. The key is to get out there and just go on an adventure where you're not thinking about your job, you're not thinking about anything other than you taking care of yourself. Number three, reconnect with your dreams so whatever dreams you had before you started feeling lost get back to them and make that dream even bigger again a lot of times people have goals and dreams and then you get stuck and and you you get lost and you get stuck and you take those goals and dreams that you had and you just throw them by the wayside but i want you to find those things again what was that dream that you had if you're keeping a journal, because y'all know I always talk about keeping journals, and I still have to do my video on showing you guys my vision vision book. I have not forgotten. I just hadn't gotten around to getting it, getting it done, but I will. But whatever it is that you write your goals and your dreams down in, I need you to go back and revisit that. I need you to remind yourself of the, the dream that you had. As a matter of fact, the dream that you had at the end of 2022, what was that dream that you had for 2023? And you should have a dream for the year or plan, if you will, but you should also have it by quarter and by month. Go back and revisit what you wrote down. And guess what? Even if you didn't write anything down, it's okay. It is okay. All is not lost. You can start now to write down those things that you dream of doing and, and attack that list. No, uh, Number four, get out of your comfort zone. What just blew in my window? I think a leaf. Get out of your comfort zone. So challenge yourself to do something that is slightly terrifying yet invigorating. I cannot tell you enough how dangerous it is to stay in your comfort zone. I say it's dangerous because if you don't get out of your comfort zone, you will never, ever, ever realize your full potential. If you don't get out of your comfort zone, you're going to miss out on so many things that life has to offer. If you don't get out of your comfort zone, you're going to end up like the man that Les Brown talks about that's on his deathbed. And because he was too afraid to step out of his comfort zone, he missed out on so many great opportunities in life. He missed out on the opportunity to take on so many new things, create so many new things. And now all those things are standing around his bed saying, we were sent to you because only you could bring us to life. And you did nothing. You didn't want to step out of your comfort zone because you were afraid of failing. You were afraid of what people were going to think. You were afraid of what people were going to say. And now we have to die with you. I don't want that to be you because I certainly don't want it to be me. When I get to that time in my life, hopefully no time soon, I want to be able to say I did everything that I wanted to do. 
I dared to dream big and I was able to take on all of the, the things that I truly wanted to do. And I want you all to be able to say the same thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Number five, get quiet and listen. I think this is one of my favorites. So every day there are signs, messages, and guideposts that will move you to act on your goals and dreams, but only if you're open to hearing them. This will require you to get quiet and listen. I have talked to you all before about having your prayer and meditation time. And if you don't do that now, I need you to start. Because see, it's during that time that you can sit. And, and it, you know what? It doesn't even have to be, it can just be random. It can be random where you just sit and you say, all right, Lord, I need to hear from you. What is it that you want me to do? What is it that I should be doing right now? What is your will? Not my will, but your will, God. What is it? And then just get quiet. And I promise you, God will speak to you. Now, I will caution you of something. When you start to ask God, what is it that he wants, for, wants you to do? You need to be ready to, to receive what it is that he wants you to do. Because sometimes, sometimes God is going to tell you to do something that you don't really want to do. But you asked for it because you said, God, show me what it is that I should be doing. What is, what is your will for me? So that's why I tell people all the time, be careful because God is going to respond, but it may not be what you thought he was going to respond with. And so is God going to show up here in my passenger seat chit-chatting with me? Probably not, but he will send on signs. He will send on the message. Sometimes that message comes in the form of a post on social media. Sometimes that message comes from a friend of yours and says, you know what I was thinking about? I thought about ABCXYZ and then I thought about you. Well, that's God's way of speaking to you saying, okay, Michelle, you asked me, what is it that you should be do doing? <laughs> Excuse me. And so this is it right here. But when you get quiet and you truly listen, and I'm not talking about just listen with your ears. I'm talking about listen with your heart, listen with your mind, truly be open to receive whatever it is that God has for you. Y'all, that's powerful right there. And I could talk about that all day. Number six, remember you have the power, the power to be, do, or have anything that you desire. If you don't do anything else, I need you to remember that, that you have the power to, to be whatever it is you want to be, to do what you want to do, and to have anything that you desire. If you want to have that half million dollar home, you have the power to do it. Now, you're going to have to put in some work, but you do, excuse me, you do have the power to be able to get that home. See, everything that you want is going to require you to do something. It's not going to just appear like that. You're going to have to do your part, but you have the power. So don't you ever forget that. Number seven, ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for the help that you need. I'm going to say that again because somebody in the back of the room missed it. Don't be afraid to ask for the help that you need. You don't have to figure out everything on your own. Your help can, can and will come from God. Okay, always. Always, always, always your help will come from God. But again, you have to get quiet and listen. You can get it from a life coach, a mentor, a friend, or a counselor. But I want to encourage you all, don't ever think that you have to do everything by yourself. Because you don't. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, we live in a society where a lot of times people don't want to ask for help because they assume that, wow, if I ask for help, that's going to make me look weak. So what? It doesn't matter what it appears to other people. You're getting the help that you need. So if you know that you're struggling and you've gotten into this dark place and you're so far down into the, in this dark place that you're having a hard time getting out of it, ask for help. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is you're just going to keep falling deeper and deeper and deeper in that dark tunnel. And that's what you don't do. Because that's going to end up leading to you deciding to, to just take your own life because you're tired. You're tired of being in that dark tunnel. You're tired of all these voices in your head and you just want them to go away. And so you figure, hey, I'm going to take my life and be done with it. But you don't stop and think about the people that you leave behind. You don't stop and think about how hurt they're going to be because you were going through something and you didn't open your mouth to ask anybody for help. So I want to truly encourage you to please, please, please 
always ask for the help that you need. And I always tell you guys, if you don't have anybody else that you can talk to, always reach out and talk to me. I am a certified life coach. I'm also a certified mental health first aid specialist. So if you ever need to just talk, please reach out to me. There's a link in the description box where you can get on my calendar and we can, you know, have an initial conversation. Of course, I can't talk to everybody free of charge because this is my business, but I just want you to know that you can always talk to me. I don't want you to think that you can't talk to anybody. Now, here's a question that I have for you. I really would like for you to leave your answer in the, in the description box, but if not, I want you to really think about this question. The question is, what has helped you find yourself when you were feeling lost? I really want you to think about that. What has helped you the times that you found yourself feeling lost? Again, it would be nice if you shared it in the comment, in the, in the comment section, because you never know, your answer may help somebody else. But if not, I want you to really think about that. I mean, truly give it some thought. And if you find that you don't have anything that's ever helped you, then again, that's a problem. That's something we need to work on, okay? Let me do a quick recap and I promise I'll let you be. So today we talked about finding yourself when you're lost. And I gave you some, some tips that, that might help help you. And I said, number one, remember what you love to do and do it. And when you find yourself getting in that dark place, think about the things that you love doing and be about the business of doing again because that's gonna bring happiness to your life. Number two, I said, go on an adventure. Excuse me, it could be a day trip, it could be a weekend, it could be a week, a month, it could be a whole year, but just go out on an adventure to, so that you can find yourself. Dealing with nature is always a good thing. Number three, I said, reconnect with your dreams. Some of you have gotten disconnected with your dreams and it's time that you get reconnected with them. I don't know who I'm talking about, but I know it. Some of you have gotten disconnected with the goals and the dreams that you set for yourself. That's why you didn't achieve them last year. You didn't achieve them the year before that, the year before that, or even the year before that. And if you're not careful, you won't achieve them this year. So I need you to reconnect with those dreams. Number four, I said, get out of your comfort zone. Nothing good ever happens in the comfort zone. See, the comfort zone is like a safe place. You know what I mean? It's that safe place that you like to stay in because nobody nobody expects anything of you really in that comfort zone. But I want you to step out of it because there's so much more to you. And if you don't come out of that comfort zone, you're never going to find it. Number five, I said, get quiet and listen. You have to do that. See, the problem with most of us is that we talk to God. We do. But we're always ripping and running here, there, and everywhere else. So you never take the time to just sit, get quiet, and truly listen to what God has to say. Or sit and get quiet and listen to your heart. Because you're so busy ripping and running. Number six, remember you have the power. Specifically, you have the power to be, do, or have anything that you desire. You have the power, but you've got to make it up in your mind that you're going to go go for those things. Because you have the power to, to, uh, to achieve it but you gotta believe it. See, I, I believe it for you. I believe it for you, but I need you to believe it for yourself. And then number seven, I said, ask for help. You don't ever have to feel like you have to take on everything in your life by yourself. And, and sometimes people do feel like they're in it by themselves, but you're not. You are not. You have help. You just have to ask for it. It could be a one-on-one -on -one session. It could be a group session. Doesn't really matter. Just ask for the help. Because what I don't want you to do is lose yourself again and you keep spiraling down that dark tunnel. And that dark tunnel, I don't know if it has a bottom to it or not because I've never been down in that tunnel. I may have been near the top some, at times, but definitely not down in the bottom. And if you're not careful, you're just going to keep going and going and going down in that tunnel. And like I said, I believe that's why a lot of people choose to commit suicide because they're tired. They're just tired of falling down in this deep, dark tunnel and they just want out. They want the van to stop so they can just get off. The van of life, I should say, to stop so they can open the door and just step off of it. And I don't want that to be you. And then I left you with the question, what has helped you find yourself when you were feeling lost? Again, you can put it in the description box or I want you to really think about that. And if you don't have an answer for it, then you definitely need to reach out to me. Listen, that's all I have, you guys. If you're new to watching my videos, I want to say welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully something I said marinates, you know, resonates with you, not marinate, well, marinate too, but resonates with you and helps you as you move along the days and the weeks and the months and the years to come so that you don't find yourself 
getting lost in that dark place because I certainly don't want any of you there because I don't want to be there myself. So if you're new to watching my videos, I do car conversations every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. If this is not your first rodeo, I want to say thank you for coming back and joining me. Y'all know I miss you when I don't get to see you. Go out there, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. No matter what you do, please do so responsibly and do it in a safe manner, okay? I'm very big on that. I need you to be safe because I need y'all to come back here on Monday and we'll have a, I'll have another topic for you because my goal is to always keep you motivated, uplifted, and encouraged. But I can't do that if you don't come back. So come on back, invite some of your friends. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, tap the bell so you don't miss anything because y'all know the drill, you know the spiel. I love you all. I love you all to the moon and back and there's nothing and I mean absolutely nothing that you can do about it because that will never change. I love you. I want nothing but the best for you. Again, if you need somebody to talk to, reach out to me because I'm here to help. Love you all and we'll talk again on Monday.